So welcome to another video. This video is for those that are trying to get rid of a computer virus or malware on their computer. So if you notice that your computer sort of have a malware or you're not sure but you feel like you do have a virus or a malware then follow these steps correctly. I would advise you first of all disconnect from the internet. Make sure you're not connected to the internet when doing this. Then you go to just press Windows I. That's to navigate to the settings. Okay then you go to your privacy and security then you look for windows security you click on windows security then you go to virus and threat protection so you click on it then it's going to open so when it opens i'm sure some videos will tell you to just perform a quick scan but a quick scan is usually not enough if you've been infected by a virus or something so you go to scan options then at this point remember we are not connected to the internet so we are going to perform an offline scan so what an offline scan does is that it's going to scan your computer and make sure that any files you must have downloaded from the internet or any malware like to that it can detect is going to remove it okay so that's what the offline scan is for so as you can see some malicious software can be particularly difficult to remove from your device so you will have to use this microsoft defender then you click on scan now then once you click on scan it's going to take some time then to restart your device okay so make sure any work you're doing close any nothing should be open at the bottom part close any browser whatever it is you're working on close it then you run the scan so once the scan is done and the computer comes up then you go ahead and continue with the step two then the step two will require you to connect to an internet so you connect to your internet but make sure the internet you are connecting to is an, an isolated network what do i mean by isolated network make sure it's not connected to a shared network like it must be it must not be a company or your office wi-fi or your company wi-fi it should be like a wi-fi you use at home that only you is connected to at that moment and also or you can use your strong your mobile hotspot your phone hotspot the reason is because some of these viruses or some of this stuff could affect the network and then affect the other user or devices that are connected to it so it's just advisable to isolate yourself at that point so the next step is to click on windows update then make sure you are up to date so you click for check for updates and ensure you are up to date because we need it for us to continue the next step so if it's not up to date, make sure you update it, use your internet and then update it. After it's updated, then you continue with the next step. So the next thing you do is still on that place, you go to scan options and then you perform a full scan. Okay, you perform a full scan. So once you click on full scan, then you click on scan now, then it will start running the full scan. Okay. So during that process you can minimize it you can minimize the process then go to step three step three you just click on windows plus r windows key plus r that's run so you type temp as temporary files so we are going to remove some temporary files which is where some malware might want to hide so you just highlight everything then select shift delete shift key and delete key to permanently delete it so when before doing this make sure you don't have any program open unless you might see some error and some files will not go or some folders will not, um, will not delete so make sure you don't have any program open like browser or whatever it is so you click on yes then uh, the reason this is giving me errors because i have vlc open which i'm using to record so if you don't have anything open they shouldn't give you any any of this so you can skip but if you have something if you have nothing opened and it still shows you that error you can just go ahead and leave it ignore it so once that is done you close it then you do windows plus r again the second time then you do percentage temp then the percent symbol again so you click on open So you highlight it, control all, shift delete. So we are going to delete this set of temporary files. So we say do you want to permanently delete this? Yes. Okay. So it might take a while depending on how fast your computer is. If you are using SSD, 
it will probably move very fast because it depends on how so while we are waiting for this process to get done let's check the full scan okay you can see the full scan is seeming like it will take a long time so you can see estimated time meaning seven hours so make sure your computer is plugged um into power make sure it has power because it might take a while because it's full scan it's scanning your entire system so it's that's always the best option to make sure there's nothing that's going to escape because a quick scan will just scan the main places that um that usually viruses used to attack because there are some specific file parts that um that that all these viruses are usually stored or all the files for those viruses are stored which is what the quick scan will do to just scan those particular places but what if the attacker crafted the virus in a way that it will go to those places that this quick scan will not check so you need a full scan to be able to detect those things so you can see how long it will take just let's minimize it and see if this other one is okay so this is still going i'm sorry you can fast forward this part this part um you can fast forward this part let's minimize this so the next step is to run a disk cleanup so you type disk cleanup then you open it you check all the boxes okay just check all the boxes and once you're done checking the boxes you click ok then delete the files then this might take a while depending on how fast your computer is another step is for you to open the browser that you use to browse every time then you go to the settings you go to privacy and security so we are going to clear all browsing data so that if there's any um adware or spyware or any of those stuff that you must have gotten when browsing it's going to clear it so you go to advanced then you go to all time then you select everything i selected here you choose select site settings then you can clear the data okay you can clear the data so you if you're using a different browser too or if you usually use two browsers maybe you have firefox you can also do the same process for your firefox browser okay so so for the firefox or you open it you follow the same process you go to settings then you go to privacy and security then you scroll down to the end and then you see cookies and site data so you clear the data so any malicious website that has that has installed cookies on your laptop or your desktop or your computer you clear it okay so it's important you do this also uh, please at this point consider subscribing and clicking the like button if you've not done that i really appreciate it and to help us to help us get ranked in youtube so the next step is to download malware bytes so this is for those that if you've taken all these steps make sure before you install this malware bytes make sure the full scan that we are running has been completed if it's not completed don't run the malware bytes because it will, it would um, disrupt the process so you can download it but don't install it until the phones or till the full scan that we are doing is completed so once you are done you install it once it's done downloading you start the installation the installation might take around um, five to ten minutes so i'm going to fast forward so the installation is done so you can see where it says scan so you just make sure you you scan it just click on scan and then it will start scanning your computer so that is the end of the process once you are done with all these then you can restart your computer and your computer will be fine okay so please just follow the steps if you have any question please ask in the comment section or if you have any other thing you need to see please do so in the comment section don't forget to like subscribe to this channel and watch all our videos on online safety because if you learn or if you if you if you improve your online safety hygiene then you wouldn't need to be doing this you wouldn't need to go through all this process so i it's advisable you do that i'll see you in my next video